Right then, here I am in some woods over at the Ackland Estate. That was it's the hottest by the National Trust now. I learnt that the one of the Acklands was a bit left wing and he handed it all over to the uh, National Trust in, I don't know, it was 1949 or something like that. Um, Hol Hol Holnicoat Estate it is now. So anyway, I've parked up. I had to come up some very steep, narrow, windy track, only for a short distance. But if I'd met anything, it would have been a disaster, I think. Um, but I'm going to go back a slightly different way at the end of that, on the way back, because I spotted the church. But it depends what time I've got available. I mean, really, it would have been great to have had the camera fixed up on Alberta to have videoed the drive up to um, the Southworthy Beacon area where there's the car park. Um, I got here about half past ten, which I'm quite pleased with, really. Um, I had hoped to get here a bit earlier, but I thought ten o'clock, but I mean half past ten's not bad, to allow myself for a hill walking here. Uh, this track here will take me to the memorial hut. The castle and all that's down there somewhere. I can see people walking down there, so I think there probably was a way back there where you pass the cross. So I'm probably going to be doing it a difficult way knowing me. Um, but anyway, oh, well, somebody coming. Yeah, it's quite blowy today. I've just come back on again. It's quite blowy, but it's going to get, the weather's only going to get colder and darker earlier. So I thought to myself, yeah, get out this week. Sheila, get out. Oh, look at the scene right over there. That's um, Exmoor and Dunkery Beacon and all that over there. Dunkery Beacon's right in front of me. If I home in past that tree, those cones, but there's Dunkery Beacon again. Anyone who's been following my videos would have been up there with me on the video. And there's a few people out walking. Um, there is probably is a better route. I've seen people walking down there. That takes you down to the castle area. All this open bit as far as I remember. Uh, I know. But I'm so determined to find this woman's hut. See, there's somebody walking up now. There must be a circular walk. In fact, yeah, I just recognised a bloke that parked up by me not long ago. And he's coming up there with his dog already. Yeah, so like I said, there's probably a rock, but they don't show you many signs, but I can see the memorial hut now. we we'll just go back up to it again. Um, what's the date today? Um, it's around about the 22nd of October 2018. Um, you've got Halloween next weekend. Yeah, we've got Halloween next weekend. Uh, the clocks go back, I think, so that it's darker earlier. Um, spring back, spring forward, I never know which. The hut's coming up. The, now, I'm not quite sure if, this, if there's two huts, the Wind and Weather Hut or this Memorial Hut, because sometimes they seem to talk about two. But then they seem to seem to be the same, and they look the same. It's quite confusing. But today's mission... Why do you have to have a car there? I try not to get that car in, it's difficult though. There's the memorial hut again. Now 
N needs no show of mountain hoary, winding shore or deepening glen, where the landscape in its glory teaches truth to wandering men. Give true hearts but earth and sky and some flowers to bloom and die. Homely scenes and simple views, lowly thoughts may best infuse. That's one of, this is of course dedicated to um, um, John, I think John Dyke Ackland, 1939 to 2009, dedicated this to his father. Mentioned round here, yes, Sir Thomas Dyke Ackland, aged 1787 to 1871, selected by his younger surviving son, John Barton Arundel Ackland of Holnicott in New Zealand, September 1878. So anyway, we've done this before, but I thought I'd just include it on this video to try and include all these markers on here. Okay, I'm just going to pick up the track again. So it said, come down from the gate. I'm just going to go over here briefly a minute. I know where the castle's marked out to be, over there following the pink sign. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing this a bit back to front. It doesn't actually signpost the hut. Um, that is the thing with it. So what we're doing, we're going to go back down here. I remember it was a very, very steep climb up. Got a lot of people stopping here. Right, let's have a look here a minute. Yeah, there, I, if necessary, I'll have to come back to this point. Berry Castle, half a mile that way. I know that. And it will get done.